In this short video, we're going to take a look at how we can be able to use GraphQL Fragment to reuse fields inside of our query and mutations. So here, let's say we have a page and we have on this page, we have test component one, which fetch a query and filter for test one. And then we also have another component that also sends another query filter for test two. And you notice here that for both of those queries, and they're all retrieving the same fields uh, inside of the query. And the way how fragment works is that we can be able to store those fields in a variable, and we can be able to reuse those variables like the fields that we want to select inside of our GraphQL query or mutations. And here you can see we have an example of that. So we create a fragment called link fields, which is on the type link. And you can see the type here for the link. We have ID, description. Uh, these are all the fields that we can query for. And we're only looking to get the URL, description, and query that. And then here, what we're gonna do is we're going to have two queries. So we have one is the test link. We're filtering for the test. And then each of the links, we're going to use the fragment that we just created. Same thing for the links news as well. So we're going to use the fragment links field that we just created to filter for the news. And if we were to send the queries, we can be able to select the test link or the news link. And you can see that these are the data that we're getting back. And to use it inside of our React application, you can see that we have our main query here for the get feed. And then we're basically import fragments into a variable so that we can be able to reuse it elsewhere. And then here in, in, you can see that we just use the spread operator to basically pass all the fields uh, that we're going to retrieve from the links in here. And here you can see we basically pass the get feed query into use lazy query, or you can use that for the use query as well. Um, and then once we display the data, you can see that we render that on the page. 